the most uh, simplistic version of get int uh, with the specific prompt uh, would be to of course to uh, display the prompt like we did in our example with the string and then simply return scanner um, next next int okay so that would be the shortest version of get int with the prompt however of course next int as indicated by the slide next int could potentially throw input mismatch exception so let's experiment with this uh, uh, with this possibility and see what kind of uh, uh, exceptions we can get from here i will continue testing in my uh, main method and uh, i already have an integer name value and so here i will say validator get int and uh, my prompt will be enter a, an integer so if this is successful i will uh, simply print the result as we did before okay so something like this enter an integer and just print the result so but the idea that the goal here that we're trying to achieve that um, um, get uh, input from the user and validate correct input format so basically uh, that's something that we have yet to accomplish so far we're not uh, doing any validation here but uh, let's just see how this get int behaves uh, when we try different types of inputs let's run it and uh, non-empty string will be uh, a one two three and then enter an integer uh, four five six and everything is fine we run it again first time i say one two three we're doing some work then enter an integer and uh, now abc that doesn't look doesn't look like an integer and here we get uh, we get our input mismatch exception so let's take this uh, input mismatch exception and of course what we need to do is we need to enclose this attempt to get this input into try and catch okay catch uh, catch this type of exception exception name is ex and so let's see what we can do with this with this idea so we need to print the prompt every time we we get uh, we get to ask the user uh, for an input then what we do is we try to to, to execute this next uh, int uh, if everything is okay we return immediately otherwise we're going to print uh, uh, print uh, an error similar to get string but this time we will say um, um, invalid how about we say invalid number format something like this right uh, format now of course uh, because i'm using this return statement if everything's okay and next int succeeds without this uh, ugly m input mismatch exception then we will return an integer returned by the scanner because the scanner uh, will be satisfied with the integer format and will convert it to an integer and we immediately return from this method otherwise we're going to print this message and we're going to repeat the prompt so therefore we can enclose this in an endless loop right so this is one possibility for an endless loop like this so this is what we'd like to do inside the the this endless loop and here uh, we can do it this way so we have an endless loop 
and we begin the loop hoping that everything will be okay from the first uh, attempt to get uh, input. So we print the prompt which is this, enter an integer. If everything okay we uh, return uh, next int. Otherwise mismatch occurs we uh, print error message like this and at the end of the catch block we reach the end of the uh, endless loop and we will continue uh, our endless loop and we'll be just retrying. Let's see how this works, how this version of get int works for us. Okay, so first uh, input is 1, 2, 3 and second input is 4, 5, 6 and everything is good. Uh, so uh, we're uh, doing this uh, right here, we're calling get int from our main method and we're printing the the final result but let's try also incorrect input format such as uh, abc for instance okay so what happens here is uh, if you observe the uh, the lower uh, portion of my screen this is an endless uh, loop uh, that we just created and let me explain quickly uh, what uh, has to happen uh, in order to be able to implement this get int. So right now the program just actually entered an endless loop. It keeps executing this uh, uh, this uh, endless loop right here because it's trying to get the int. Okay it keeps failing on this input mismatch because it just repeats and repeats and repeats these outputs okay but it just keeps looking endlessly uh, for for new input and uh, so what is happening so uh, here i need to click to cancel the process right and i say yes would like to cancel this process so now uh, we're going back to our code and uh, let's uh, explain what uh, what uh, we uh, end up with. So we use this um, uh, uh, use this uh, next int method. So next next int method uh, is a method that belongs to the scanner object. Of course, the scanner object we create here up up above the, in the validator.java. So the scanner. Uh, the scanner object has access to some sort of buffer uh, that comes from the keyboard. Basically an area of memory um, that uh, is coming from the keyboard. And the keyboard is populated with input A, B, C. Right? So this is some kind of non-numeric input that we're trying to test with. So these three character a, B, three characters a, B, C cannot be converted by the scanner to an integer. So what it does, it creates an exception object uh, and then returns back to try and catch statement. And try and catch, of course, uh, starts to execute catch. And we print this error message. And then... This is all that we do in our exception handler and we from here we just return back to the top of the loop and we try this again but by design the scanner even though the next int attempt was unsuccessful preserves the the input so it thinks that you may be able to try to somehow input it differently maybe you try to input it as a string of characters and not as an integer so it just says that I don't have the authority to eliminate these characters and throw them away. If you'd like to do that, it's your job. And so when we when we loop again after the prompt, next int instantly realizes there are some still unprocessed characters, which are exactly the same characters, and we continue generating input mismatch, printing this message, and going right back and again and again and again. And so this creates an endless loop. So this is, so far, we're on the right track, but we need to do something else uh, to remove this um, entry. So how about uh, what we could do here is just basically say uh, scanner next line. 
we know that next line will process everything that's left in the input buffer. We don't care what that input was, apparently, in our version of getInt. We just say that if this was not a good int, then we'll just throw away whatever is left um, in the input buffer. And then uh, this should work better. So let's save this. So right, so we can we can add a comment um, um, uh, trash uh, non-numeric input. Okay, um, we we have to get rid of it. Otherwise, we'll just uh, end up with an endless loop. So let's save this and run it again. All right, so the first time I enter one, two, three. The second time uh, I enter uh, four, five, six. I'd like to test if everything uh, works uh, unchanged the way it was before. So this works fine. So then we try again with one, two, three, and this time something that looks like ABC. So this time, this magic next line really kind of does the work. It um, eats up and um, consumes uh, this non-numeric input ABC. And so we come back to the top of the loop with an empty input buffer. And when we go to next int on the second iteration after displaying the prompt, so now uh, the input is empty and the scanner decides to wait for the next input. All right, so we type something else. Again, this happens, and we kind of caught, caught here until the user enters something that could be processed as an integer. So let's try 4, 5, 6 again, and now it works. So this is a better version of getInt.